you sure you don't want a drink? No, thank you. Look, this music is too good to be wasted. Let's dance. Well, Miss Graham, I... I feel like an intruder. I was supposed to meet Andy here, but I feel as though we're crashing a party. Oh, don't be silly, Mr. Rayburn. Please. Now, have you ever worked with a photographer? Someone who doesn't want to kill but wants to capture the real fill of the jungle and motion picture film? Often. You know, as a matter of fact, I prefer photographic expeditions to hunting. Oh, well, I've got the most sensational motion picture film ever made of savages. You should see those Naibashi girls. The excitement took their death. Mm. Tell me, Claire, how did you do it? Hidden cameras? Uh-huh. By now, Andy should be flying my film out of the jungle to be developed. And then, may I make a date with you? <laughs> well... What's the matter, Bob? Those drums, I caught part of the message. Something about a big bird falling. Oh, well, I'm quite sure it's nothing important. Come on, let's dance. Buena Bob! Excuse me, please. Buena Bob, Luba Vika. Hello, Bob. The Parangari could in a mother and get the world keep on the boom of The week of what? Andy's plane crashed in the jungle less than an hour after his takeoff from here. The film, Mr. Leibelm, the film is all burned out? Isn't anyone interested in what happened to Andy? Dr. Nelson, Andy Howard's plane crashed in the jungle. He needs medical attention. Mm -hmm. Please, Dr. Nelson. All right, all right. Heard every word you said. Andy's plane crashed. Good heavens. We must stop at once. Why, it only took me ten minutes to make the move. <laughs> Has anyone seen Dr. Nelson? We were playing chess. He's getting ready to go in the jungle with me, Mr. Wood. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready to leave, too. Bob, I'd like to go along, please. I promise not to be any trouble. I can even take some very good pictures. Please. All right, if you really want to come. Thank you very much. You told me, sir. I understand that your company has the insurance on the film that was in the plane of Mr. Howard. Good heavens! I would appreciate it as a personal favor if you would make your investigation immediately so that we can terminate the affair as soon as possible. Going to the jungle? Me? Oh, I say I'm rather allergic to insects, animals, and all that kind of thing. I say there, Rayburn. Yes, Mr. Wood. Would you do me a favor as you're going into the jungle? I'd be glad to. Oh, I'll pay you. I'd like you to check on the accident for my company. I'd like you to make a report on the film. Let me see, there were six tins in all. Would you mind doing that, old bean? Be glad to, Mr. Woods. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. Snakes, insects, gorillas. Why did they have to transfer me from London? Dr. Nelson has me tied together well enough for me to hobble around. So I guess we can go to the plane wreckage. Doctor? Well, I think it'll be all right if Andy promises not to overdo it. What will be all right? Oh, Andy's not well enough for a long trip yet. Since we have to stay around for a few days, we thought we may as well pitch cap at the scene of the crash. Well, what's wrong with right here? Andy thought we'd look for your film. But it was all burned. Well, I was thrown clear. Some of the film might have been, too. Don't you want to make sure your film was burned, Claire? Why, of course. She no go, too. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Bob, I've got to get to the plane wreckage. Everyone's looking for the film, Andy. If it was stone clear, we'll find it. You just take it easy. Uh, I know it's a rough break, but it could have happened to anybody. Of course, I'm sorry about the film and the plane, but that isn't the worst of it, Bob. What are you trying to say? Bob, this isn't an alibi because I crashed, but I'm certain my plane was sabotaged. Sabotaged? <laughs> Who'd do a thing like that? Who had anything to gain if the plane crashed? Duval. Duval? He sunk a fortune back in Claire in her attempt to film the Naivashi tribe. The film I was flying out was insured for $100,000. 
Not a bad haul. Andy, I'm investigating the crash for Mr. Woods, the insurance broker, but I didn't know Duval was involved. You know, accusing anyone of sabotage is a very serious business. You have to have definite proof. Bob, my plane didn't conk out. Before the crash, there was an explosion. My engine blew up. Why, during the war of planes, even ships were damaged by a time bomb no bigger than a pencil. And I'm certain that's what happened to the plane I was flying. It's hard to believe. Please, Bob. Promise me not to give this crash a clean bill of health until we've had time to cover every inch of the ground looking for the sabotage bomb. Okay. But I warn you, if we don't find any bomb fragments, I have to report to Mr. Woods that the crash was an accident. Take it easy. I'll see you in a while. We're going back of those bushes and getting back of the plane. Then look. Here's the last one. All burned. Sorry. All your hard work and all that money gone up in smoke. Well, I guess that's the way it is in this business, Bob. One has to learn to be a philosopher. The search is over, everybody. We have found all the film cans. All the film has been burned. Too bad. What are you looking for, Bob? The search is over. Claire. Something you ought to know. Andy thinks the plane was sabotaged. Oh, I'm afraid Andy has been reading too many stories lately. Come on, let's go get something to eat. Come on. I promise you there is no villain in the story. <laughs> you think... Bob like pretty lady? Jim like pretty lady too? Sheena not like pretty lady. I should not have listened to you and your ideas. Hmm? Blow up the plane in the air. Huh? Now, if we do not find these bomb fragments, way more we are in the trouble. Yeah. But, Mamma Mia, I thought it was better. I thought it might kill Andy. Now, yeah, the trouble with me is, I think you think. From now on, when Duval wishes a corpse, je le degree, he make it himself. <laughs> Nom d'une pipe. He has it, the evidence we need. If we get it from him, we get $100,000 from the insurance company. And if we don't get it, we both go to jail, huh? Better we go get him, huh? Give me the little thing. <laughs> Give it to me. Give me the little thing. Give it to me. Come on, baby. Give us that. Come on, little monkey. Come. Come on, come on, little Give me the little toy, please. Come on, nice monkey. Come, little monkey. Come, come, little monkey, please. Hey, you. Come down. Oh, come on. Give it to me. No, my little show. Give me the toy, pretty one. Nice little baby, nice little monkey. Give me the toy. Give it to me! Give the nice little monkey. Give it to me. Give it to me, please, huh? Now, now, be a good boy. Give me this. Give me this. You know, Pierre, we catch more the flies with honeys and with the vinegar. So why we don't make it with the monkey, huh? What? Yes, we give the monkey the cigar, huh? Come on. What it? Oh, come on, come on, give the little toy, huh? That's right, come close, come close. Give the May little monkey. Smoke the cigar, huh? Sally, fume, fume, puff on it, puff on it. Yes, watch that. Watch now. That's right. Fume, fume. Look, give me the little toy, the little thing, the little shawls, eh? Pretty one, give to me, yeah? Give it, hmm? Ah, 
Mais ça vaut bien la peine, hein, mon vieux? It was worthwhile. Yes. But without this, they can't prove nothing. You are right, Raymond. Allez-vous-en, we go, hein? Jim, what happened to you? Did Sheena smell breath? Jim been smoking. What happened? Someone shoot us, Gina. Come on, let's talk to Andy. What happened? What was the shot all about? Someone took a shot at Sheena, but she didn't see who it was. They go away in car. I've got a pretty good idea who it was and why they were here. Take it easy, Andy. We need proof when it comes to anything this serious. I'm afraid my proof ran away in that car. With the bomb fragments, for all we know. Andy want to fix plane with bomb fragments? <laughs> no, no, Sheena. I want to prove that somebody caused the accident. Why would someone cause accident? Insurance. Insurance? Yeah. What is that? Insurance? Well, it's, uh, it's what you take out on your house or your car. Yeah. Uh, Sheena, do you know what betting is? Betting. Maybe rain tomorrow, maybe no. Well, insurance is like betting. It started out with ships full of valuable cargo, understand? Yes, only the cargo owners bet the ship is going to sink. Why? Uh, why? Uh, because they didn't want it to sink. Why bet? <laughs> well, because if it does sink, they want to get paid for the cargo. Yeah. Who pay them? Uh, not the insurance company. Why? Why? <laughs> you take it, lad. Why? Well, uh, it's like this, Sheena. Uh, thank you. It's, uh, well, it's just a way to protect valuables. Did Plain carry valuables? Claire Graham made pictures of the Naivashi tribe. You know, like she made pictures of you. No. What? Lady make pictures of Sheena, but not Naivashi. But Sheena, she did. Naivashi not let anyone see them. Not even Sheena. Sheena, if what you say can be proved, then there's no question about my plane being sabotaged. Because the film I was carrying was worthless. You want truth. Yes, Sheena, it's very important. You see, Bob will have to sign the papers for the insurance company so Duval can collect the money. If it's crooked, Bob would be involved too. Sheena, go find truth. In three days, Sheena be back. Jumbo Rafiki. Rafiki? Unani Naivashi. Kitambu!
rafiki. Naibashi, rafiki. Naibana kumba la manga. Have you seen my lighter, Tim? Ah, there it is. Give me a light. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Thank you, Jim. Blow it out. I guess you're a little worried about Sheena, too, aren't you? <laughs> Who worried about Sheena? Sheena! Well, come in, sit down. <laughs> I'm certainly glad to see you. Frankly, I've been a little worried about you these last few days. You know the Naivashis are a dangerous tribe. Thank you, Andy, but Sheena's safe in jungle. Did you find out anything? Claire not find Naivashi. Not take pictures. Sheena, are you sure? It's very important. Sheena, go to village, talk to chief. Claire not come. But how can we prove that the burnt film was blank and Claire never found the Naivashi tribe? Sheena know how. Where is lady now? She left this morning for Mombasa to collect her insurance. Bob go with her? She insisted. They left the jeep, though. We catch them. Come. Well, Mr. Woods, I guess everything's here. The plane crashed, was completely destroyed. All the film was burned, but I... Now that I have Mr. Rayburn's affidavit on the loss of the film, I can process your claim immediately. You shall have your check for $100,000 in the morning. Thank you very much, Monsieur Woods. Perhaps I could offer you a drink. Uh, no, thank you. We have our game of chess to finish. Shall we go along, Mr. Brown? Well, I at least shall have a drink. Again, let's go. Thank you, Bob. Well, Claire, now that everything's been settled, what's in store for you? Your share of the insurance settlement will make you a very well-to-do young lady. Oh, I know the loss of your film has been quite a blow. Perhaps you'll have another try at photographing the Naivashis. Bob, there is so much I want to say to you about the Naivashi. What do you mean? I... Nothing. I guess I didn't mean anything. You're wrong, Claire. Something should be said about the Naivashi. Mon cher Andy, it is so good to see you and able to walk. I am so happy. I knew you would be. And Frenchy too. Naturally, of course. I want to present Sheena to you. I don't believe you've met her, formally at least. Claire. Sheena missed you. You and Bob left so suddenly. She just had to come to Mombasa to say goodbye. She didn't bring goodbye music for Claire. Kitabu. Thank you, Sheila. You like? Yes, I like it. It's very interesting. Unusual. Naivashi music. Sheila, how do you know Naivashi music? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? Well, isn't she, Claire? Well, I guess it is Naivashi music. You dance. You dance like Naivashi. Oh, well, I'm... Please. Some other time. Oh, go ahead, Claire. Yes, it should be easy for you. You photograph the Naivashi tribe. Didn't you, Claire? Well, Andy, I... Of course she did. She told me all about them. Very interesting and primitive people. Go on, show them. Thank you, Claire, for Naivashi dance. 
She no go to Naivashi village, talk to chief. Chief say it's taboo for dance. Chief say Claire never come to village, not take pictures. What about it, Claire? She is lying. Who would believe this person, this, this, this woman? Chief telling the truth. I did try to get to the Naivashi village, but all my natives were killed. I owed Monsieur Duval a great deal of money, and stupidly enough, I offered to help him defraud the company, the insurance company. I don't care whether you believe it or not, Bob, but that's what I was trying to tell you before. I have no time to settle this score with you, Claire. Not now, but it is a date I shall never forget. And nobody, but nobody move. Stay here. Excellent. A very good move. Although I must say you checkmated me. Oh, you're not brown. I say, I don't think we've met before, but you play a very good game. How about another? Hmm, good. I say, have you ever been up to London? You have? Oh, good. That's wonderful. Do you know Colonel Holmes up there by any chance, Old Dean? What a nice fellow, even if I do say so myself. Hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>